parents, we see baby boomers, empty nesters, maybe that's all they want. They want to move in off their five acre lot and move in on a city lot on a bus line and close to everything. So, I don't, it's not a right answer, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But we've done it both ways. Are we back on schedule or still ahead of schedule? Or? I think we have a little bit of Okay. I'm gonna, I'm, we'll have another question or two, and then I am going to get a better projector. Back. I'll be oh. here all day if folks want to talk to you about anything. So. What, what's the ordinance on building? You mentioned a little bit about building right up to the curb. Um, I think on what street is it? La Crosse Street? Oh, I think Western has one that's built right up to the street. The, the, the new Western sidewalk? dorm probably is set back, I would say, uh, 10 to 15 feet because they do have some stormwater on the cross street, the big dorm that they built. Uh, I think Kevin Biondo was able to get a variance because on the, uh, to the east of them, there was another building. So when you do setbacks, you look at buildings on either side, you can average them, and then you can still go to the Board of Zoning Appeals and ask for a variance. So behind his sidewalk, he's probably got maybe six, seven feet, but it is required to be landscaped. So downtown, there's zero setbacks. Oh, okay. So in the downtown setting, you don't have to have any okay. setbacks. But generally, um, you can average setbacks in a single family area, it's 25 feet okay. or an average. Um, I think in R4 or 5, I think it's a 15 foot setback in our yard. 20 in the Depends on the zoning district. Again, I want to thank uh, Pam and Paula and Pat Hogan. I don't know where Pat Hogan is. He's somewhere warm and Pat organized, helped organize, and now he's out golfing down south. So, I, again, thank you. I'll be here all day uh, to answer questions about uh, this, that, or anything else. Yeah, thank you. Okay, well, we, we uh, had one presentation that was actually the break that we took care of before the break. So, if you want to take um, a break until, let's see, if we take a break till 10.30, that would be about 20 minutes. And then we'll start up again at 10.30 with um, Officer Barrett.